a pseudo class is basically a state of an element that can be targeted with CSS. A few common pseudo classes are link, visited, hover, and active. So let's start off with the pseudo classes that we can use with links. So here in my documents, I have links. Some of them have the href attributes and some of them don't. And if you take a look in the browser, they have by default a different styling. CSS gives you the power to have more control on this. And that is by using the link pseudo class selector. This pseudo class allows you to target only the links with an href attribute. So let's take an example here. If you add a general styling to all of your links, this is the result. Now all of your links share the same color. But if you use a colon, then follow it with the keyword link. Now you're only targeting links that have the href attribute. Now the second pseudo class selector that we will see is the visited pseudo class. This selector allows you to add a specific styling to links that have already been visited. So here if we click on this link, now this link is receiving a different styling and that's because it has been visited and we are targeting it in CSS with visited pseudo class selector. There is also another pseudo class selector that developers tend to use a lot and this selector is not only used with links, it can be used with any element and that is the hover pseudo class. It is used to style an element when the user's pointer is above it. For example, let's add this rule. And now when we hover over it, our link is receiving this styling. As I said, this pseudo class selector is to be used with any elements. So let's use it with paragraphs. And now when we hover over any paragraph, it will have this styling. Now let's go and see other pseudo class selectors. You can also use the active pseudo class selector and that describes the moments that you press on the link. So let's add a basic styling to this one. And now when you click on a link and you haven't released the mouse yet, you will see the style. Then as soon as you release the mouse, it goes away. So let's see it again. And when I click on the link and still haven't released the mouse click, this link will receive the styling. Then when I release the mouse, it goes away. So last and not least, the focus pseudo class selector. This selector is used to style an element that has gained focus. Some people use the keyboard to navigate web pages rather than the mouse. For instance, if you try to do the same thing and click on top, now this link is receiving an outline and that's the default styling for any element that is focused. So let's target this state and add our custom styling. And now when we click on top, the link receives the styling. And this pseudo class selector, I mean the focus pseudo class selector, is to be used with any elements that can receive focus like links and inputs.